Hi everybody, I'm back again. Um, just wanted to show you a couple of items that have shown up in the mail uh, over the last week or so. Um, stuff that's going to get done eventually. <laughs> the the pile is getting higher as normal. Anyway, let's not talk about that. I probably need a 12 step program. Anyway, um, so this is a new um, 200 millimeter or one ninth scale resin kit from Pegasus or Chimera. Pegasus and Pegasus models and Chimera are basically the same company. Um, but they produced this. I was lucky enough to get in on it um, in the first wave. They were going to send this out in a couple of different uh, um, waves of orders. And I was lucky enough to get in on the first one. So this just arrived actually um, two days ago, I think. This is a really nice kit. I, I really like the, the detail on here. Um, definitely reminds me of, you know, like the whole Venice, um, not Mardi Gras, but festival, you know, with the mask and all that kind of stuff and the flowing costume and everything. I, I think this is going to be really fun to paint up. A little um, side shot, what the back looks like the sides. I think this is going to be really, really fun to, uh, to paint. Again, Chimera, it's a 200 millimeter sculpt or one ninth scale. Um, I did actually open this up and the casting is really well done. Uh, there's just a lot of, um, shredded plastic. As you can see the, you know, kind of like that stuff that you put in a, uh, in an Easter basket. And if I, if I, when I opened it up, it just kind of went <clears throat> everywhere. And then my cats were having fun and I had to grab it all back from them. Anyway, um, so this is gonna be done somewhere in the near future, maybe beginning of next year or something like that. But anyway, so there's that. So that just showed up. There's another new car kit. This is a Tamiya or Tamiya uh, Lotus Super 7 Series. And uh, I decided, I've heard a lot of people talking about how good the Tamiya kits are to put together. And I've done a few of the AMT ones um, where I had some fit issues and things like that with the body or whatever. And I understand that these kits are really well done. So I'm looking forward to trying this eventually. Um, a couple of different versions, you can do green or the red. A little interior here. So this should be fun. Um, I did open this one up. There are not a lot of parts in here at all. I mean, this is it two sprues, some chrome, and some clear. That's it, and some photo etch, but that's it. So, looking forward to doing this. There's that one. And I also decided, um, I really like Ferraris. So, I picked up this uh, Fujimi. Yeah, Fujimi, Ferrari. I was actually looking for, before I bought this, I was um, I was actually looking to see if I could find the uh, Thomas Magnum Ferrari, the 308. Uh, but it doesn't seem like anybody's producing it right now. And I saw one on um, eBay and it was going for like $75. And I was like, nah, not worth it. Not worth it. Um, so I bought this. So we're going to give this one a shot. A um, few sprues in here. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it in red. I might try a different, I think the black. A black Ferrari looks really cool. Kind of like um, 
Sammy Hagar's Ferrari and I Can't Drive 55. That's a really nice color, so I may try something like that. I don't know, we'll see what happens when I get to it. So there's this. And then, as most of you are aware, I like World War I. So I saw this pop up from TACOM. It's the Mark IV female of the World War I heavy uh, battle tank. And uh, I'm really looking forward to building this. I've built the, uh, I think the company is called MHAR. I think that's how you pronounce it. They have a 135th scale uh, version of this as well, but the, uh, it's, I don't like the kit. I won't say anything really bad about it. I just don't like it. It doesn't, the fit isn't very good with it. And uh, with the MHAR kit, I, it really needs to be redone. But uh, this one should be, this one's relatively new. Uh, you can see they have a, a male version over here. A um, little bit of a slightly detailed interior. So you can kind of see what this is. And then uh, let's go on this side. Here's all the sprues. A few more sprues than that Lotus, huh? So this should be, this should be fun. And it comes with a uh, German uh, photographer. So, um, looking forward to doing this one too. This this one should be a lot of fun. And um, that's really all I have. That's what's shown up in the mail over the last few days, or a week or so. So, uh, again, I hope everybody's doing well. Please stay safe. Um, Please like, comment, share the videos. And uh, I wanna thank also all my new subscribers that I've picked up over the last week or so. Thank you very much. I hope I can keep things here interesting for you and you like to stick around. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.